Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be talking about three Zara fragrances that I recently added to my collection and I feel like these are fragrances that you should try or you should sample and you should consider adding to your perfume collection whether you are starting with your perfume collection or you have been collecting for quite a while and you just need some fragrances that you can use on the daily and are very affordable. So I haven't really been exploring a lot of Zara fragrances. I have been doing that recently and I fell in love, especially these three fragrances that I've tried and I'm super excited to try more Zara fragrances. So the first one that I added to my perfume collection was Sublime Epoch. I talked about this in my Fragrant Obsessions video. This is a fragrance that's very similar to Giorgio Armani's My Way. So if you guys are familiar with that scent profile, it is a citrusy, sweet, white floral fragrance that has powdery and musky undertones. And this one is just so beautiful. This was the very first one that I purchased and I fell in love with it immediately, not knowing that this was a dupe for my way. Just blindly sniffing it, I fell in love with it, I immediately bought it, and yes, it is very similar. I do have a sample of my way and um, I have been trying that fragrance every time I go to the department store and this is very, very similar for a fraction of the cost. This is a perfect spring and summer fragrance during daytime or nighttime. Because this one has that musky base, you can get away wearing this one. Even though it is sweet and floral and bright, you can get away wearing this one during fall time, especially during the day. So of course, we can wear fragrances whenever, wherever, whatever season. But in terms of you know the scent profile, this one is a perfect daytime scent for spring and summer and for fall. This is a moderate to long-lasting fragrance. It depends on your skin chemistry, of course. But on average, on me, this lasts six to eight hours. Hours. It projects quite wide during the first 30 minutes to an hour of wear and then it stays closer to the skin because of course with the notes knowing that this is a white floral and it doesn't really have a lot of other like heavier notes to weigh this one down, it becomes like a musky softer floral as you wear this fragrance. It has only three notes listed. It has tuberose, vanilla, and musk but I do feel like there is something more in this fragrance that they did not publish. A very nice and wearable scent, versatile, that has a place in any perfume collection, whether you are, as I said, starting to build your collection or have been collecting for quite a while and you just need an easy reach, an easy grab floral fragrance that doesn't really smell juvenile, that doesn't smell simple or plain or basic as people may call it. This is one of those fragrances. Sublime Epoch, I think this belongs to their chapter three collection. As I sampled this one, I really wanted to get another fragrance, but there was only one bottle available. So I was sniffing it, testing it. I I went to Fragrantica trying to research the fragrance and I put it down for like a while and there was someone that came in and I think she already did her research. She knew where she was going and she grabbed this fragrance. This is Golden Decade and just the juice color, everything. This was also one of the fragrances just like Sublime Epoch that I tested in the whole like Z Zara fragrances um, uh, display. This was one of those fragrances that immediately like, oh my gosh, I really need to add this to my collection. This is a very soft, powdery vanilla fragrance. And again, just like with Sublime Epoch, I didn't know that this was a dupe for something else. This is a very similar scent or a dupe of YSL's Lieb Intense. And if you guys have watched my anti-haul video, I talked about the Lieb line from YSL. Like I was, I liked the fragrance, especially the Intense one because it's more vanilla, but it wasn't really a scent profile or something that I really wanted to add to my collection especially for the price point and the price that it goes for and I guess I was biased in a way because I knew that this one is super affordable this is like a third or like a fourth with the price compared to YSL's fragrance and I don't really get a lot of lavender in here this doesn't really have that very prominent like lavender that's in YSL Leap the intense version this one is more citrusy powdery floral that has a very prominent vanilla note I think the bergamot that's on top gives you that YSL it's a Lieb um, vibe. Um, I don't really get lavender. It has. It doesn't have any lavender listed. All I know, not thinking about the inspiration or the dupe of this fragrance, I really love this. This was one of those fragrances that, as I said, when I sampled it, when I smelled it, I immediately fell in love with it. So for me, on my skin, this is a beautiful vanilla fragrance. It's vanilla first, and then it is citrusy, powdery, floral as it dries down. So it is way sweeter in the entrance, but as it develops and dries down on your skin, it is more of that citrusy, powdery, floral. And in terms of longevity, and projection or the performance of this fragrance, this isn't as wide projecting as compared to Sublime Epoch, for example. This stays closer to the skin, but it does like radiate that sweetness because of the vanilla. So these are fragrances 
I need to mention these are fragrances that you don't really need to overspray but if you overspray just be careful because it can be cloying when you know during the first 30 minutes of wear maybe if you are in a closed space or an enclosed um, area you have to take note of that but these are fragrances you don't need to overspray they last long as well moderate to long lasting this one doesn't really last as long compared to sublime epoch or maybe i just don't notice it because it stays closer to the skin but it does last me an average of six hours which is great especially that it's affordable six hours that's half a day this one is perfect if you love vanilla forward fragrances but you want something else it's more on the floral vanilla side not really on the gourmand pastry vanilla this is a great fragrance to add to your collection we always have a space for another vanilla fragrance in our collection and then my most favorite out of all three i thought sublime epoch was my most favorite it was the very first one that i purchased um i honestly haven't tried every single one from the zara display or this line chapter two and chapter three they also have a separate line i think they had the woody the floral and the fresh line i really love the fresh uh, fragrance i'm gonna have to go back and test that one again or test that line again it can get very overwhelming if you know i go to the zara fragrance display and there's a lot of fragrances to try and they have newer ones at the bottom as well every time i go there i have to you know have an agenda test these fragrances and have to go back again so the most favorite out of all these three fragrances that i feel like you guys should try if you haven't tried this one this is a beautiful fragrance. It may have a scent profile on the cord that can be challenging for most people, but this one is really amazing. When I smelled this in store, I really loved it. I bought it immediately. And when I came home, I was like, oh my God, was this like an impulse purchase that I didn't need because I was really loving it the first night this is a vibrant leather for her and this is the 2021 version i think this is their newer release and if i can compare the dent that i made in vibrant leather you guys can see that i have been using this one a this lot this one is so beautiful i know that there are other vibrant leather there's a for him and there's an earlier version i don't really know but all i know is that this one is such a beautiful fragrance it is so unique it is so it is a scent profile that i don't really expect to see in like a Zara or an H&M. All of this one can pass off as a niche fragrance if you just package it in a different bottle and this one lasts super long as well that's all i can say with these three fragrances they are good performing fragrances last super long they stay on your skin and on your clothes they project as well and they're super affordable so anyway this vibrant leather is a fruity sweet patchouli woody fragrance and you don't really get a lot of leather surprisingly there is that leather but it isn't the most prominent note that's in here it has red currant patchouli and leather i mentioned that during the first night i wasn't a big fan of this one why because when i sprayed it in store i was like oh my gosh that red currant is really nice i didn't know it was red currant all i knew it was like it was a very nice berry sweet um scent i thought it was raspberry but then it wasn't it's like more cranberry raspberry ish and I really like that entrance but when i came home when i sprayed it on my skin it became this like i didn't know like maybe it was a new bottle and i was just spraying it or maybe i layered it with another fragrance but it became this like very sweaty patchouli kind of scent and i was like i wasn't sure that you know i was gonna love it but i'm so glad that i waited and decided to spray it more on my skin because as this one dried down this takes quite a while to have to develop into the dry down but as this one was drying down i just kept smelling and sniffing my hand and it became this very beautiful combination of patchouli and the leather here is not your typical like bitter leather i have a leather fragrances video there are different leathers there are suede and there's bitter leather and there's a smooth leather or a shiny leather this one the leather here i cannot compare it to any leather that I have in my collection but the scent profile I think is more patchouli on my skin and the patchouli that I get here is similar to Elizabeth Arden's um, uh, Fifth Avenue Royale the patchouli isn't really that prominent in there or not that forward but it has that similar it that kind it has that kind of patchouli this one is just so beautiful again the leather is not that very prominent leather it's not a bitter leather it is just like sniffing like a very nice smooth like leather wallet or leather purse but it's not that animalic kind of leather that's what i wanted to say but the red current here with the patchouli just you have to wait for the dry down of this one in the beginning it's like a blast of red current it's like a blast of like fresh sweet fruits and then as it develops you get the patchouli and leather i'm pretty sure there are other notes in this fragrance but 
oh, this is something that you really need to experience on skin. It's not enough to spray it on a tester strip or spray it on the air. If you spray it on skin, you really have to wait for the dry down because this is amazing. And this lasts super long too. Out of the three fragrances, Vibrant Leather for her is the longest lasting. It stays super long and this one projects more as well. And the dry down or like the sillage of this fragrance, like what you get, like if you leave the room, like the scent that leaves the scent trail, is that leathery, patchouli, fruity, I don't know, it's like a very sexy fragrance. This, in terms of season, is a perfect fall and winter scent, daytime or nighttime. Perfect for nighttime, I would say, and even you can get away with this one during the cooler summer nights or spring nights, but this is a perfect fall and winter scent. I have been spraying this one all the time. I've been dowsing like my jacket, my work jacket with it. I spray my pillows with it. I, this, I have been reaching for this one like all the time. It was Sublime Epoch together with Pink Sugar that I've been using as my daily scent. Aside from the other fragrances, if I'm testing fragrances, fragrances but this has been my go-to for the past couple of weeks i really love it and it isn't really that very annoying cloying kind of leather fragrance that you would imagine i didn't really leave a comment like when i sprayed the whole room with this one spray myself with this one usually when he says something that's a negative thing but this one he wasn't bothered by and my son loves this one as well and knowing that my son loves it he prefers like fruity not really even overly sweet fragrances and super fruity floral fragrances. He's not really a big fan of that, but he loves this one. So you really have to check this one out. If there is a fragrance out of the three that I will highly suggest you guys to test on skin and sample if you could in stores, it is Vibrant Leather for her. And this is the 2021 um, release. So that is it for today's video. I was super happy to share with you these Zara purchases. I have been loving sampling their fragrances and when I go there, I'm going to have to check their other fragrance lines. I know they're like Jo Malone collaboration. Fragrances are very popular here on YouTube. I haven't tried them yet. But yeah, one thing is for sure, I know I'll be adding more Zara fragrances in my collection. I know I said I'm very critical with the fragrances that I'm adding. That is why I just added these three. I could have bought Red Temptation. I could have bought Rose Gourmand just for the sake of it. And there's another fragrance. I think it was Mystique Noir. I forgot the name. But it was like a La Vie Belle Intensement kind of a fragrance. But it doesn't have the very prominent pink pepper that's an Intensement. But since I already have the fragrance I don't need to add that to my collection and there was this other one that smells very similar to the original La Vie Belle and other fragrances but yeah these were ones that I decided to add to my collection and I know there are more others from Zara that I will be discovering and will be adding to my collection as well. Let me know down in the comment section, you guys, if you have tried or if you own any of these fragrances, especially Vibrant Leather for her 2021 because I am loving this one so, so, so much. If you own this, let me know what you think of it, if it worked with your skin chemistry, if you liked it, if you loved it, or if you hated it, let me know. It's really interesting to know what you guys think of the fragrances that I'm talking about here so yes that is it for today's video once again thank you so much for spending a bit of your time in watching today's content as i always say in every single video have fun much love stay safe and see you in the next one